Trent Williams didn't feel like himself, but it was more than enough for the Redskins. After more than seven seasons, Washington Redskins coaches know this much about their talented left tackle, an injured Trent Williams is still better than no Trent Williams. The veteran tackle hadn't practiced in two weeks and spent much of last week at Redskins Park watching his teammates take practice reps, but he was determined to play Sunday. I was close, Williams said when asked if he was considering sitting out his team's 26-24 win over the 49ers. Me and Jay, Gruden, had a talk. I just told him if he needed me to push through, I'd push through no matter what, he asked me what they think I can do to push through and he would need me. I told him, say no more. I'll be out there. Williams said he felt average, and said a combination of his aching knee and the rust from not practicing contributed to a frustrating afternoon. Didn't necessarily feel like myself, he said, but that's expected. I hadn't, done, anything with football the last two weeks. I felt rusty. It was kind of hard early to fight through the rust and the pain. But once you start getting in the flow of the game, your adrenaline starts running. You kind of start to worry about the game more than anything. Best and worst moments from the Redskins win over the 49ers Williams wasn't yet sure how active he would be in practice this week when the Redskins begin preparations for next Monday's game at Philadelphia. He is one of several players the Washington training staff will be monitoring closely. Defensive lineman Jonathan Allen injured his foot late in Sunday's contest and was wearing a walking boot in the locker room after the game. He is scheduled to have an MRI exam on Monday, as is cornerback Bosch Hod Breland, who injured his knee in the third quarter. While Williams was more than formidable anchoring the left side of the line, his mobility was limited and kept him from performing at the level he expects. Late in the second half San Francisco defensive lineman Solomon Thomas blew through the left side of the Redskins line and sacked quarterback Kirk Cousins. But that was the only time Cousins was sacked Monday and the offensive line gave him enough time to throw for 330 yards on 25 of 37 passing. Williams knew it wasn't going to be an easy day, but he also felt his services were needed. Once you accept the fact that you're going to be going through pain, it's not so alarming, he said. I already knew it was going to be pretty tough. But everybody out here is fighting. There's no excuse for me not to. More on the NFL. No Kaepernick, smaller anthem protests, but still plenty of opinions at 49ers Redskins. Redskins flight marshals celebrate game-ending interception with a pat-down search. Redskins injury-riddled secondary gets banged up but doesn't break against 49ers. NFL Week 6, Aaron Rodgers could miss season with broken collarbone. As another star player goes down to injury, a rough season for the NFL gets worse. Colin Kaepernick makes plans to pursue collusion case against NFL owners. Owners hope Nfopa will support measure calling for players to stand for anthem. Blackstone, Trump is using black NFL players as political.